What's up video Ford Nation? This is Video Ford Ruan with another awesome Video Ford tutorial. First of all, make sure that you've installed After Effects. You can either use a trial copy if you don't have the full version of After Effects installed. That should be good enough. And also make sure that you download the file in the uh, project files called eyes.mp4. We're going to be using this video in some of the examples going forward. So in the first video, we're going to be looking at the basic user interface in After Effects. So first of all, I'm using After Effects CC and it should be really similar if you're using anything from CS5, CS6 and upwards. So firstly, on the left hand side, you've got your project window. And this will be where you will import your footage, your graphics, uh, all of those kind of things. You'll also create your compositions in here. You can create folders to just create a structure or to keep things tidy. I'll show you guys now how to create a new composition from this window. And on the tab next to that, you've got your effects controls. And this will be where you'll see all your effect controls. So if you add a specific effect to a layer, you will see all the parameters for the effects in this window. So let's just click back on project. And the middle section is your composition window. So this is where everything's going to happen, where you will be working and view your composition. And then if we go to the top area here on the side, you'll get your workspace uh, presets. So if you click down, make sure this is on standard. We will mostly be using the standard workspace. But if you click something like all panels, it will actually just give you all the different panels like the trackers, the line smoother, all of those things. But mostly we're going to be using the standard workspace. Right on this side, you've got your effects and presets. This is where you can find all the different effects built into After Effects. And then character, that's your text properties or your text settings. So if you're working with text layers, you'll use this quite a bit. Then at the bottom, you've got your paragraph, which is also linked to text. And then we've got our tracker window, which is your camera tracker and your track motion. Uh, we'll also look at that a bit later. And then at the bottom of the screen, you've got your timeline. So this is very similar to a normal editing system timeline and we're going to get into that shortly and then let's go back to the left hand side where we've got project and there are a few different ways that you can create a new composition so first of all you can right click and then you can select new composition and this composition settings window will pop up where you can actually give your composition a name we're going to leave it as comp1 and then you've got a few different presets here. So we're going to be mostly using the HDTV 1080p 25 frames per second. So it depends on where you are. If you're in America, you'll probably use the 29.97 or you can use the 24 as well. We'll mostly use these HDTV presets. And then just below that, you've got your resolution. So if you select HDTV 1080, this will be set to 1920 width by 1080 height. Next up, you've got your frame rate. So you can set your frame rate here. And just below that, you've got your duration. So this is where you set the duration of your composition. So let's set this to 20 seconds for now. And background color, you can leave as black and then just click on OK. So this will automatically create a new composition. You'll see we've got a play it at the bottom in our timeline and you've got your black window on the side. OK, next up, we want to import some footage. So the clip that you have downloaded from the project files, let's import that. So you can just go to your Explorer or your Finder and you can simply just drag that video file into this project window and it will load that file. Now what you can do, you can drag this down to the bottom and this will be placed as a layer in your composition. So you can see there is the layer and in your timeline you'll also be able to view that layer. So if you scrub through this, it will play the video and if you press the space bar, it will just play forward. Okay, so as you can see, our clip is actually a lot shorter than our composition because we set the composition to around 20 seconds and our clip is just under 6 seconds. So this is not really the best way to do this. So let me show you the second way of creating a composition. So let's go to our project window and delete the composition one. So just click on that and then click on delete, select delete and that will be gone. So what you can do once you've got your video file in your project window, you can simply drag the video file and hover over this little icon here. And when you release, it will automatically create a composition using the settings from that video file. And as you can see, our composition is exactly the same length as our video file, which is pretty nice. And it will also look at the frame rate and the resolution of your video, and it will match that when creating that composition. Okay, next, let's have a look at some of these icons here at the top. 
So the first one is your normal selection tool. So this is just where you click and select different layers. So I'm going to undo that. And the second icon is the hand tool. And this is basically like a pan where you can actually pan around and see different areas of your composition. Next one is the zoom. This will basically just zoom in if you draw a box and it will zoom into that location. And just below your composition, you've got your zoom settings as well. So if you click on that percentage, you can set to fit and that will fit your composition to this area. Okay, the next tool is the rotate tool. So if you click on that and this will actually just rotate that specific layer that you select. Let's undo that. Next one is your cameras. So we're not really going to get into this now, but you'll use that when you create a camera in your scene. Okay, next is the pan behind tool. And this is when you want to change the pivot point of your layer. So as you can see, there's a little dot here in the center. And if I click on that, then I can actually move this pivot point around. So let's maybe set that right on the eye in the center. And if I go to the rotation tool now, you'll see that that layer will actually rotate around that pivot. Okay, pretty cool. I'm going to undo that. Okay, next we've got the rectangle tool. So if you click and hold, you'll actually find different options here that you can use. And this we will be using when using masks in After Effects. So we're going to get to that a little bit later. Next, we've got the pen tool. We're also going to use this when we're looking at masks. Next, we've got the text tool. This is basically for creating text layers. And those are basically the icons that you're going to be using most often. Okay, let's click on the selection tool again. And let's look at some of these settings just below your composition. So we've looked at the first one, which is just the size or the zoom. So if you set this to 100, this will actually display 100 pixel size of your video or of your image. And if you set this to fit, this will actually then just fit to the screen. Okay, the next one is your grids. So if you click on this, you can enable title or action safe. And you can also enable proportional grid, which is sometimes nice if you try and center stuff in your frame. So let's switch that off again. So the next one is basically if you want to toggle your masks off and on. And the next one is your time code. So if I scrub through here, you'll see that that will actually count. So let's go back to the beginning. And then we're going to jump to where it says full. This is basically the preview resolution. So sometimes when you're working with lots of layers, the playback will become really slowly. And a way to increase the speed is just to set your resolution to half or maybe even to quarter. And you'll see that the resolution of your image will degrade. But when you do your final render, that will always be rendered at full quality. So this is just something to use when everything is slowing down and you need to do something to speed it up a little bit. So I'm going to set this back to full. Okay, next we've got our active camera. And then we've got the one view or two views or four views. You can click this if you want to have different views of your composition and this you will only use when you've got a 3d camera set up and maybe you want to have a top view of your scene and maybe another view on the side but to be honest i don't really use this let's just set this to one view for now okay here at the end we've got our exposure so you can change your exposure of your composition viewer and this will only affect this viewer and it will not affect your final render so i usually just set this to zero and that's where it stays. Okay, so that's the basic user interface in After Effects CC. And also remember to check out video4.com and buy a sweet t-shirt. Right, I'll see you guys in the next video.